Hi guys, welcome back to Outside the Fly Box. With this video, I want to help you with your fly casting by showing you my method of fly casting um, and how I break it down into two pieces. It's actually the same way I'm teaching my 10-year-old son to do it. And uh, when we get around to it and he's ready, I actually want to shoot some of that video, uh, let you guys see that because it's pretty fun. Um, and like I said, how I do it is I basically break it down into two completely different pieces. One is obviously the backstroke and then the forward stroke. And uh, let you go from there. And, uh, it, and it works with any airborne overhead method of casting that you do, whether it's straight up and down, completely sidearm, or anywhere in between. It should help you, you know, shorten your learning curve. Let's get started. So the first thing is obviously the stance. Um, some guys cast directly over their right dominant foot. For me, I'm a left foot forward guy with a right, as a right-handed caster. Um, I call this my boxing stance. Um, if you're in the ring with somebody, you know, smacking the gloves around, you know, it's it's that comfortable. Left foot forward, right foot back, sh approximately shoulder width apart. Um, you know, a comfortable stance. Now, the next thing is would be how you hold the rod. Um, and you hear a lot of guys will say this: you hold your rod the same way if you're reaching out and shaking somebody's hand. So you get that angle, put your rod in it. Um, and when you do that, your rod should almost be, if I can show you this, completely straight with your forearm. So go straight from the forearm right into the rod. Um, and the only thing that I would tell you that's a little bit weird is some guys that teach casting will tell you not to bend your wrist. Um, which can be confusing because if you watch them closely cast, they do bend their wrist. And what it does is basically at this angle, your arm is, wrist is bent. That's a bent wrist. And what they do on their back cast, when it hits the top usually in that area, they'll straighten their wrist out, which ends up being a straight wrist. And that will put your rod at about a, between, I guess a 45, 22 degree angle, somewhere is, yeah, it's probably more 45 there, but it puts it pretty close to, I would say a 22 degree angle, 40, but not more than a 45. And what they don't want you to do is when they say don't bend your wrist, they don't want you to pull your back cast, break your wrist, and dump the rod to the ground. That's what they mean by don't bend your wrist. All right, so here's the setup. Um, obviously the fighting stance, left foot forward, you know, um, right hand, handshake angle, grab the rod. The rod's, again, straight with your forearm into the rod. Um, this is something that'll help you later. Try to keep a big enough loop between your left hand and the reel, so if you're actually fishing, you gotta do a strip strike, you're not bottoming out of the reel. That'll help you greatly later, because you wanna get used to handling your fly line with your left hand efficient obviously um, and from there it's simply this get my pile of spaghetti um, the backstroke handshake down you want to find a spot up by your ear I don't mean actually in your ear but just a spot up here it's comfortable to pull the rod to um, and you want to pull in a straight line in the same manner if you were starting a uh, lawnmower you need to grab the grab the pull cord and pull straight back pull straight back so with your rod you'll do the same thing handshake up to your ear and all you're going to do is keep your eyes on the line as it comes up and goes past you just watch the line fall to the ground so here's what it looks like right tip down see the spaghetti back out of your spaghetti no spaghetti so then you want to do a little lift so you're parallel to the water or the dirt or the ground should i say and hit that spot up by your ear and watch the line the whole time as it travels behind you and then just watch it fall to the ground falls to the ground. So then you drop your rod, turn around, do it again. See your spaghetti? Back out of your spaghetti. Rod tip down. Lift it to the, so it's parallel to the water and then pull up to your ear. And just let it fall. We're watching. And inherently that that will teach you the timing necessary to learn your forward cast. Um, so here it is again. Spaghetti, rod tip down, back out of your spaghetti. Pick the rod up so it's parallel, 
and then hit that spot up by your ear and get a nice hard positive stop. Watch it fall. And then from there, once you have that, it's the same thing. You want a positive stop, watch it fall, and then come forward your forward stroke. Positive stop, positive stop, and then drop your rod with the line. That's the whole cast. Not a lot to it. Um, if you find yourself where you're hitting your camera, um, but if you find yourself where you're not getting that timing down right, just fall right back into that, watch the line drop. And then, once you get comfortable, watch the line drop, forward cast and drop it. And, you, and like I said, it's an acceleration to a positive stop, acceleration to a positive stop, and then drop the, the, uh, the rod to the line. And remember, your rod is acting as a slingshot. So if you pull a slingshot back and let it go, it'll take off. But if you kind of just let it go and, and let it go easy, it's not going to go anywhere. So you have to have that acceleration to a positive stop, watch it, and then forward. Positive stop, drop it. Sometimes, like, I don't, get, I wouldn't say it's lazy. It's um, from doing it a million times. I've gotten efficient with it. Sometimes my, my backstroke's very low. It does, it's just the way it is. Um, but ideally, you want to try to get used to getting it up in the, into the air. All right, guys, that's my fly cast in a nutshell. Um, and, I, and like I said, it'll, it will work with any airborne cast. Uh, um, I don't know. Thank you for watching. I hope I could help. And like and subscribe. And always remember to think outside the fly box.